ironic that right across from the Sindre is Saddam's military stadium. You can see the uh, stands where the people sat, and then Saddam sat in the reviewing stand on this side. You can see the bunker that he went down into when we passed by the way out. Then it, notice the mural up above the stadium. There's a chariot, and you notice the face has been scratched out, but who would it have been? Wow. There you go. I think he fancied himself as the present king of Assyria. And remember what I said? The kings saw themselves as God and king. I think, his, I think Saddam really thought he was a mortal. <laughs> and it's just fascinating how biblical history continues to repeat itself. I'm not sure what God, what <laughs> conditions God is setting here. Some people thought this was going to be the last battle. Obviously it wasn't. But God's setting the conditions for something. And we are a part of much more than the human affairs that are going on right now. One day we'll know the whole story. Well, you can see on this side, the adobe is well weathered. Again, we talked about how in the Bible, in the Egyptian times, the Israelites were held captive by the Egyptians. They had to make bricks. First they made bricks with straw. You can see the straw in this pretty clearly. And then because they were so successful, the Egyptians felt threatened. And then they had to make bricks without straw. The big challenge of that, if you remember from walking around here when it's muddy, is you can't get the doggone mud off your boots. It's so sticky. So the straw reduces the stickiness so that you can work with it but it would have been quite a chore to make bricks without straw. You can see that archeologists have been here, they've reinforced the old structure with some concrete structure, and this has been excavated here. The nice thing about this site, if you go up on that little knoll there, you get the longest run of, of restored wall here, and you can kind of get a picture of yourself in the foreground, it'll, it'll give you some depth perception, perception of the wall. Now let me tell you, I'll go ahead and talk about leaving here. 